you probably work a stupid amount of hours and very hard for the money that you earn. Imagine if somebody stole it all in a half a second. You'd be in panic. You'd be in fear. Your guts would hurt. You would have no idea what to do. This happens day in and day out, and it makes me sick to my stomach, especially if you are in this industry or if you are thinking about getting into day trading. I'm going to give you five amazing tips to prevent you from getting scammed, from getting robbed, and from getting blindsided because they present hopes and dreams in front of your eyes and then rob you and then steal everything that you have. Number one, be skeptical of unrealistic promises. One of the most common and most seen scams across the internet, especially in the day trading industry, is, hey, I manage financial portfolios. If you deposit $5,000 into my firm, I can promise you and guarantee you by the end of the week, I will deposit $25,000 into your account. This is stupid. And it sounds too good to be true because it is. If you think about what the baseline of income and profit and investment returns should be, think about the S&P 500. A traditional person that invests in an S&P 500 ETF should expect anywhere between 8 and 11% profit as their return annually per year, 10%. So if somebody is promising you 500% profit in seven days, steer clear of that motherfucker. They are literally only trying to steal your money and because you are so desperate for what you want and the money you will do anything and you will believe the nonsense coming out of their mouths number two research the offer as well as the company if you go to a website called i don't know bitcoin millionaire asap.com and you just deposit money over there you are asking to get screwed over if you find an investment opportunity or a realistic return on your investment look into the company first how long have they been around who runs it what country are they registered in? What government bodies regulate them? Is it legal? These are questions you must ask when doing research into something. Do not make an emotional decision. Do not close a deal that's on the phone because you are dealing with a salesman. Whether it's a DM or on the phone, a salesman is always meant to close the deal right then and there. They do not want you to think about it because 90% of the time they are trying to scam you and make a decision right then and there. They are putting pressure on you via time and urgency. They're trying to get you to the fear of missing missing out mentality. All of these things will make you make poor decisions in your financial future. It's a scam. Don't fall for it. Do your research, figure out the company, see if it's ethical, and then invest. Number three, do not share personal information. Your driver's license number, your social security number, your passport number, photos of you, names of your children, date of birth. All of this information is your personal information. You should not have it hidden in your email address. You should not have it hidden in a note on your phone. Phone. Phones are hackable. Computers are hackable. Emails can be hacked in less than two seconds and they can get all of your information immediately. So if you have passwords saved there, you're absolutely screwed. Only share your personal information with trusted companies. For example, if I go to amazon.com, I'm typing in my personal information, my name, my address, my credit card, the expiration date, code on the back, all of it. I trust them. I know that I'm giving them my information to order a package, to take money from me, to send me that package and I get it the next day. But if I go to a web Website called again Bitcoin Millionaire ASAP.com. I'm not giving them anything. Always vet the places where you put your personal information. Number four, understand the investment and the opportunity. Before investing money, fully do your research into that thing. Whether you're getting into the financial markets or investing in cryptocurrency or a ETF for the S&P 500, or you're getting into real estate, whatever method you want to inject your money into, you should be fully versed and educated in that thing. Do not take somebody's word for it because their word isn't worth anything anything. They are a stranger to you. Use your own analytical brain to grow your knowledge base on that specific thing to make sure that you are making the right decision. Do not ever jump to conclusions. Do not ever make emotional, rash decisions. Always think everything through, always. And number five, trust your instincts and verify. This one hurts me the most because you guys have probably seen it. There are thousands of impersonator arties out there. There are hundreds of telegram groups. There are 
are hundreds of Instagram pages. There are hundreds of TikToks that are not me. There are people that stole my profile picture and used it on theirs, made a similar name to mine, and then DM hundreds of thousands of people every day in hopes that somebody is gullible enough to fall for the scam. They deposit money with this person thinking that it's me, and then those people lose their money, their hard-earned money, and then they find my personal email address, they email me, and they're like, hey, uh, you stole my money, you're a worthless garbage person, I want it back, I'm calling the police. And I have to be the bearer of bad news, letting them know that they got scammed, that was an impersonator, these are the actual links to my real accounts, the one that you got DM'd by is not me. The intelligent people, they verify. So you get five messages from somebody claiming to be me or somebody else that you trust. And so what they do is they email me first and they're like, hey, have you been DMing me on Instagram and send me a screenshots of all these DMs? And I say, nope, sorry, that's a scammer impersonator. Please don't trust what they have to say. And then they say, whew, thank you very much. You saved me from losing $10,000. The people that verify end up winning at the end of the day. And this doesn't just happen in this industry. Because my parents aren't the most technologically advanced people, when I hear about a new scam, I need to tell them about it because they're going to be unfamiliar with it. The most recent scam going around, and this one sucks because it takes advantage of elderly people. It's a person texting that person, the mother or father or grandpa or grandma from a random WhatsApp number saying, hey mom, hey dad, uh, my phone died. I'm in a different country. Can you please send me money? The Western Union, this is the account number. I need help. And without question, they just send the money because they see, hey, dad, or hey, mom, or hey, grandpa. And it breaks my heart. Like the first thing that they should have done is actually call their kid and be like, hey, are you really in trouble? And then realize that it was a scam from the get-go. But this happens day in and day out. And this scamming industry makes trillions of dollars a year. And it's all theft, 100% theft. So if you're getting into day trading, you're getting into investing, or you're getting into anything in real life, use these five tips to help you from a lot of heartache and a lot of pain and suffering in the future. If you enjoyed this video or know somebody else that could use this type of lesson, please share the video, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one.